I believe the first vial is pouring out. Uh, this is the first vial used in the U.S. COVID-19 vaccinations. Uh, <clears throat> it joins the Smithsonian collections. These guys are collecting this. They're really impressed with themselves here. This here is a picture of the uh, first vial of the vaccine. Here's another picture of it. I believe this is the first vial being poured out. Revelation 16. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast. It's being dubbed COVID arm. Fox 12's Brenna Kelly has been following this for us and reports on what we know so far. I reported on a local healthcare worker who experienced this last week. Since then, my inbox has been flooded with emails from people all across the country who have experienced the same thing. Today, I spoke to a local doctor about COVID arm and what he says about getting your second dose. It started out like in this white area here, like that. So it looks just so much like Nicole's. Local healthcare worker Lauren Lose is one of many people across the country who reached out to me after my story about Nicole Kephart's reaction to the Moderna vaccine. I noticed a small kind of circular rash appeared on my arm. After seeing the rash on Nicole's arm, Lauren realized she wasn't alone. Man, 74 gets rare, severe rash all over body and says his skin peeled off after Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Skin peeled off. Let's take a look. He told WRIC, WRIC that he first felt a discomfort in his armpit, but that itchy rash, itchy, grievous, what did it say? Noisome and grievous sore, right? It's gotta be noisome and grievous. Itchy rash quickly spread. The skin peeled off. I began to feel a little discomfort in my armpit and then an itchy rash. The swell turned red. I take a look at this. There's the rash. See that? And look at this one. Uh, it, it was stinging and burning and itching, Mr. Terrell said. It was very painful where the skin was swollen and rubbing against itself. Yeah, does that look painful? Does that look painful to you? The doctor treating Mr. Terrell has confirmed that the rash was caused by a drug reaction. Jin says these reactions are not a reason to skip the second dose unless you had more anaphylactic type symptoms. What feels really important to me is to take a sane approach to this. I've looked at some, you know, Seen some blogs where people are saying, oh, it's the Bill Gates microchip and all that. It's like, no, stop that. Here's wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. Where's the number of man? And the number is 603 score and six. After COVID-19 vaccine, her skin bubbled and burned. One woman's mysterious reaction. Her body was an achy wreck. Noisome, grievous, sore. The next day, she felt pins and needles pricking under her skin and a swollen feeling in her arm. Yeah, There's, there it is. Unusual skin reaction. Look at her, right here. Is that after the second dose? Now let me tell you, they've already started the vaccinations. They've already started them. They started them a long time ago because the test vaccinates you. So I have the article right here in front of me, and here's what it says. Yes, they can vaccinate us through the nasal test swabs and target the brain. Well, also today, not an adverse event, but a side effect has many dermatologists fielding calls about what's being called COVID arm. It's a small skin rash around the injection site, but what makes it unique is the timing. It's delayed, popping up four to seven days, even 10 days after getting the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. There have been at least 400 cases reported. Dermatologists are tracking it, but say that it is a harmless side effect. And the good news 
is that even though you get COVID arm or what we're calling COVID arm, it's not anything to worry about. A woman suffers agonizing rash after COVID AstraZeneca COVID vaccine. Still suffering from intense pain from the rash. Noisome, grievous, sore. Severe rash, agony. My skin was so sore and constantly hot. Legs, look at those legs. Mm. COVID arm is a rash, and it's one of the possible side effects of the Moderna shot. But doctors say it's nothing to be alarmed about. Alex Reinprecht was excited to get vaccinated. He booked his appointment at CVS a week and a half ago. So I got the Moderna vaccine, and initial reaction was just a little soreness in the you know, injection site. He says initially he didn't have any other adverse reactions. Then eight days later, this happened. Suddenly and out of nowhere, I got this big egg that grew on my arm and it was just super itchy and painful to the touch. Almost exactly eight days after my vaccine, so all of a sudden it showed up and I was like, wow, my arm's really burning, it hurts. Carol Leeper is a speech therapist in Los Angeles. More than a week after she was vaccinated, she started noticing a rash on her arm where the needle went in. When I looked at it, there was just a big red bullseye rash and it itched and hurt and was warm to the touch. 